Welcome back to The Reality Guys. I'm your host, Brian, along with my co-host, Brett. Yo, what's going on? Welcome back. We're here to talk to The Masked Singer, Episode 3, Season 8. Right? Season 8? <laughs> Brett's giving you a forecast of what he thinks of the season. Um, okay, so let's, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. This show I find completely uninteresting. And I like Brett. You you've seen the show. You've watched it. You like for seasons. So I, you said that last week they weren't a fan. Like uh, you got to be like on the downslope too, right? Yeah, I mean, I all the past. So I've been watching since season three up until this point, and I think all the past seasons have like kept my interest and been entertaining for me. Uh, maybe some are like slightly better than the others, but this one is absolute garbage. Like every episode so far has been awful. And I think that's due to the format change because mm. there's no, there's no like lingering members that we're trying to guess. Like the only person left to guess is still the harp. Yeah. They're basically, they have one good singer, the harp who I don't know who the hell she is because she's not like in the type of person I would know. And then all these other people are just like shitty old dudes that can't sing <laughs> coming in and like, how the hell am I supposed to know who they are? or what they sound like singing and like based off one round of clues i can't guess plus what's the point like you don't even get to guess because they reveal the person in the end of the episode right you can't yeah, like the speculation is not there like yeah. we all, we we have one person that we haven't known the entire season so far and it, it's just kind of we uh, yeah i i get it i, I understand because i know people like the show is big i'd like to like know what the numbers are now with season eight um all right, let's run through this. Let's run through the, uh... the the entertainment of the show comes from. I mean, the judges like, and are they funny? So I mean, I still think they're doing okay with what they have. Like, I mean, they can only you can only go to a judge so many times and then right. practice yeah, so many one liners. So I think they're doing a fine job considering that they've been doing it for so long. But the singing is the other portion that's supposed to be good, and the people that are singing now suck. Where at least in the past, most of the people that were on the show were good singers. Like they were either professionals or they just did it well. This season they just suck. Plus their song selection sucks. And um, and then the and the worst the worst part of it all is now the, like the main fun part about the show is that each episode you rewatch that the same few singers doing a new song and new clues and you keep trying to guess and unravel who it is and that is just completely gone at this point. Mm-hmm. Right. So, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think as a first time viewer that there's there's too much talking and not enough. Like they could they could add an extra singer in every week. I think like there's too much BS happening going on. Like I know they're like, oh, let's make a final guess again, and like like guessing the guessing like okay, the eliminated teams. Like they spend so much time like guess who they think it is twice, and I don't know. Just like there's certain things they can cut out. Nick Cannon talks a decent amount. And just. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, for- yeah, I guess where they had the, I mean, the mummies we saw sing twice and then we saw the, um, the harp sing twice. Right. And then there was only one other person on this episode. Well, yeah. The fortune teller also kind of sang twice. Cause he. Oh, wait, that's not again. Yeah. Fortune- yeah. Like, yeah. The, the mummy sung once. The fortune teller they, sang. No, I think they sang twice. They sang after they got eliminated. That's probably true too. I don't know what it is. I honestly, I fast forward through that stuff. As soon as I know who they are, Bang, bang, bang. We're moving the, we're on to the next one. Okay. Um, like Brett said, the first team was the mummies. So it's three people. They sang the monkeys, the monk, uh, the monkeys theme song by the monkeys. Um, again, not a, not I I know the song, but it's not something that's gonna pique my interest. I, Never heard the song, didn't like it, and <laughs> they sucked at singing it. So yeah, and I didn't even I mean, I had like 30 minutes to guess who they were. Yeah, I, I was actually on board because I before we okay this episode was TV themed like TV theme song themed so like that's why a lot of these songs are going to be theme songs to shows. But I was when I was watching, I thought everything the people who were under the mask were TV people as well. So I think Ken said the Lawrence brothers, and that's who I said as well because they were on TV. They were on like a couple of Disney Channel shows, and like I, I was like, okay, not a bad guess. And when Ken said it. I knew I was wrong because he's usually wrong. I thought it was, I just assumed I was like, it's probably the Jackson five. Like I was like, I don't know who's in that, but I'm sure they have three dudes that were in that. But I think it would, their performance would have been a lot better. (laughs) Maybe. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. They they did the thing about like in living color feels like your family siblings. 
Yeah, they. I mean, gave a lot of clues. That's yeah. So they gave a lot of clues to like family. So that's why I was like, okay, Lawrence brothers. I mean, the the it was and and spoiler alert, they were the three brothers in the Brady bunch. Brady bunch. Uh, the, when they, when they got on mass, did you know who they were? No, I had no idea. I just saw like three like gray haired white dudes. Like, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, who who were they? <laughs> uh, Mike Lookinland, Barry Williams, and Christopher Knight. Uh, the three brothers, the three sons, brothers of the Brady Bunch. Um, okay, so and then Brett was alluding to this earlier. The the guests they just bring somebody out to give the clue, which again could be cut. Just like read the clue, like let's keep it moving. Uh, Tori Spelling from Beverly Hills 90210. She was also apparently on the show. Were you watching when she was a singer? I don't think so. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, just again, and they all and the judges are like, "Oh, hello, I love you, I love you." Yeah, yeah not for me, man. That ain't it. Okay, next was the fortune teller. He said uh, he sang "Moving On Up" the Jefferson's theme song. Um, I thought this was Fonsworth Bentley, even though there's no ties to TV themes on making these guests because of the one clue where it was like, I I was in a bunch of music videos. So I was like, oh, Fonsworth Bentley was in a ton of music videos in the background dancing. So that was my guess. I didn't think it was a terrible guess. Uh, did you have any thoughts on this before we found out who it was? Um, well, I think one of the judges said who it was. And then yeah, like, it was I guess Ken. It sounded like a good guess, but I was still trying to like big brain think it, think it through who it was. But all the clues really point to them, except for like, I don't I have no idea how he's involved with the Kardashians. Yeah, me either. I mean, and then when they said something about being a, like, I, I don't know, I, I was thinking he had to be some sort of DJ dude which I wouldn't have known who it was if that was the case, but that's where I was thinking like a, pro like a producer, yeah, okay. like a DJ, a DJ Khaled type of dude. God, if DJ Khaled was on the show. That'd be funny. Um, yeah. So Ken actually got this one, right. And it was uh, Damon John. Who's like, he was on shark tank. He created FUBU for us by us clothing line. Uh, I didn't think his singing was terrible. What did you think? You thought it was bad. I mean, it was, I, it wasn't great. It was, it wasn't good. It was, it was like mediocre and he was singing a song that I didn't know or didn't care for. So you've never heard that song. No, really? You never heard the Jefferson theme song? No. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. And then, um, uh, was it, is it Jordan Sweetie? Is that who came out? Yeah, I, I know the Full House theme song. That was one of the shows I watched. But okay, yes, yeah, yeah you know, I know of. I never really watched. Um, so she came out, gave a clue. Uh, next up was our our buddy the Harp, who we still have no idea who they are. Um, and they sang "Thank You for Being a Friend," the Golden Girls theme song. I mean, obviously, she's a good singer. She obviously advances. I know that's again like um, I didn't watch that show. I know the song, but. Well, like I, I know that she is somebody that I don't know, so I, <laughs> I don't care. Like there, you can show me a million clues for her, and then the moment you unmask her, I will still have no idea who she is. So, like, there's once again, like, there's the one person I get to guess, I will never guess, just because I don't watch whatever entertainment she's been in. Right. Yeah, the clues are. I even like what are they like a new clue every week and I feel like they're not that it was like purple mashed potatoes. People are gonna know exactly who it is. I actually think the somebody's right on it. Uh, like uh, I, I don't know. Well, that's what they used to do for the other ones. So like you would you would have you would start with like five singers and then one of them would be bad and they would go home the first week and then yep. the other. So you get clues and performances from four of them. And then the next episode, you get clues and performances for the four again, and they're mm -hmm. all good to great. And so it's at least entertaining to listen and try to figure it out. But now we, we literally only have the one person to try to figure out, which is the harp, instead right. of like having four or three. Exactly. Okay, like we said before, um, they do the voting, fan voting. The mummies came in third place. So they were a mass. We said they were the Brady Bunch boys. And they then we go to the battle royale, which was between the uh, fortune teller and the harp, and they sang Brad's favorite song, "Everywhere You Look," Full House theme song. How do you think they did? Forgettable. <laughs> it's just a tough. It's like a song. I don't know. I I, I feel like the 
the uh, it, was a bad, it was a bad theme tonight. Well, Day, I from what I even remember, like Damon John, I feel like did very like mediocre for someone who's not a singer. Yeah, um, and then the the uh, the harp, I think, did like a good performance on it. Like, like I yeah, I think what I remember is that why the hell are we doing this? Because it's clear she's better than he is. So like, what's the freaking point? Yeah, it's tough when they're singing the same song with these battle royales that if the, the better singer is going to win. And like last week was the closest when it was Montel Jordan. Like that was the best matchup that we had. And it's unfortunate that they won't find like compete later because Montel Jordan would have beat what if he was he would have beaten all these people so far. And he just kind of got drawn, drawn, uh, dealt a bad hand. So it's like I'm like you said, like it would be nice if there was more people and like She's just kind of picking off like low hanging fruit right now, right? With her, which I think the the one plus side is it sounds like next week is we new. get totally new people. Yeah, so we don't have to see the harp again. She's like the queen that will go to the She's final. She's buy something. So she they say she goes to the semifinals. So it looks like we'll have like four. So it sounds like this will be like a like a multi like maybe thirteen or fourteen episode season, and like she got a semifinal spot. So we need to fill three more semifinal spots. They play each other, then the finals, and then we go. Uh, hopefully, they change the format because I hope it's not a bad like singing the same song. I mean, unless they're all good singers, but I think they should have some uniqueness of like a song that they're good at and they could perform. Like if they're like, I, I don't know, just la. But um, I'm probably gonna get more shit singers next episode and one good yeah. one. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, um, if you're still watching this episode, uh, thank you so much. We appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, let us know how let definitely let us know how what you think of the season especially if you've been watching it for a while like this season do you agree with brett that it's pretty bad and like the old format is better uh we'd appreciate that because maybe maybe next season it'll be better but yeah, maybe brett, especially, you, especially if you're the person that said that uh, reality guys show. Should, yeah should exactly yeah mm-hmm. i want to i want to know your opinion of yeah. this season mm-hmm. <laughs> because i was i was a fan too so i'm like oh yeah i'll watch it and cover it but like the season's just not good it's yeah not good. yeah so. um make sure to check out all of our stuff we have bachelor in paradise survivor amazing race uh love boat jersey shore everything and anything reality tv we're trying to cover it and give you like, at least a video every day or every other day um for myself and brett We'll see you guys later. See you.